Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of antennas and propagation. In today's class, we are going to know the overall syllabus of an antenna and propagation, which was assigned to third year BTEC second semester for the ECE students. Okay. So this particular antenna and propagation, previously it was antennas wave and propagation, AWP subject. Now they have uh, transformed into antennas as well as its propagation. Okay. So before getting into this particular subject, antennas and propagation is one of the most important for electronics and communication uh, students with respect to the subjects. Along with the communications, antennas and its propagation is also very much needed for the gate as well as uh, any competitive exams in order to have a strong uh, motivation towards that particular communication stream. Okay. So before getting into the antennas and propagation syllabus, we need to have a basic knowledge on the electromagnetic transmission lines or electromagnetic theory. Uh, we generally call it as EMTL or electromagnetic transmission lines, right? Okay. So once we have what are these electromagnetic waves and uh, electromagnetic transmission lines, how they are uh, done, we can have an advanced concept like antennas as well as propagation okay coming to the course objectives so so with the help of this subject we are able to understand the concept of radiation antenna definitions as a, and also there what are the different types of antennas and what are the antenna parameters and we are also going to derive and also analyze the radiation characteristics with respect to the antennas okay so next one to analyze the characteristics as well as the design relationships of several frequencies with respect to microwave antennas and along with that in order to identify the antenna array requirements and uh, in order to understand the concept as well as setup requirements of the microwave measurements okay so obviously when we are using several types of antennas we need to use some sort of microwave signals right so in order to link those microwave signals to the antennas, we are going to understand how they are linked and what are the concepts behind these, what are the setup requirements we need. Everything will be seen. And coming to the last objective, we also uh, see the different phenomenon of how the propagation of waves with respect to ground, space, sky, everything will be observed. Okay. Now coming to the course outcomes. So as the objective suggests, the course outcomes will be like, uh, we can be knowing different types of antennas. What are these patterns? What are the uh, uh, parameters? And what are its radiation effects? Everything will be considered with respect to the microwave, uh, microwave supplied to those antennas. Okay. And also, we can see a different wave propagations in several mediums okay so coming to the jntu hyderabad syllabus there are completely five units for this antennas and propagation okay let's see uh, one by one unit what they have covered okay so unit one uh, is somewhat like an antenna basics so we can come over basic antenna parameters like parameters uh, patterns area beam efficiency okay everything and we can also see some sort of theorems which was already uh, we have seen in the electromagnetic transmission lines okay same kind of theorems we are going to uh, see here also okay and coming to the thin linear wire antenna which is a part of unit one we are going to see different um, uh, dipoles okay field components radiator powered how the radiation resistance acts what is the beam width how the directivity of an antenna is okay effective area effective height okay what are the loops with respect to the antennas okay and what are the directivities of the uh, antennas we are going to see okay now coming to the unit 2 it completely covers antenna arrays as well as antenna measurements okay so in the antenna arrays we are going to see the definitions patterns as well as different types of antenna arrays uh, uh, like uh, non-uniform, binomial, okay. So we are also going to see the characteristics, comparisons of different 
antenna RS and coming to the antenna measurements, we are going to see what the effect with respect to the near and far, okay? What can be the source of errors, how the patterns are measured, okay? And how the directivity can be measured, how the gain can be measured. Everything can be seen in the antenna measurements, which is a part of unit two, okay? So coming to the unit three, unit three is in uh, uh, ultra and very high frequency with respect to microwave antennas, which is considered as the part one. So here, what happens if microwaves are connected with the antennas where very high frequencies and ultra high frequencies are transmitted and received. So how these uh, antennas are uh, designed in order to hold this particular microwave signals, okay, which are of high frequencies, what are the types, okay, how they uh, act whenever the signal is getting transmitted or received, in what type of modes, how many types of antennas are there, we are all going to see in this particular uh, microwave antennas part one, okay. So, unit four is nothing but a continuation of the unit three, which is nothing but the microwave antennas part two, where we can also going to see micro strip antennas, advantages, limitation, rectangular patch antennas, its parameters and characteristics of this particular micro strip antennas, uh, some types of reflector, uh, reflector antennas, parabolic reflectors, okay, uh, how they are uh, behaving, okay, everything will be considered in the unit 4 microwave antennas tube, okay. Coming to the last unit, this is one of the interesting unit, how the antenna behaves uh, in different mediums, okay. So, with respect to initially how the wave propagation is done, in uh, in different types of antenna concepts okay and how the propagation will be done with respect to ground wave with respect to space wave and also with respect to sky wave what are the frequency used how the propagation is done what are the frequencies considered okay everything will be done with respect to the propagation okay so unit 5 gives a much more clear uh, concept of how an antennas are utilized and what type of antenna is exactly utilized in several type of medium, okay? And coming to the textbooks as well as references, we have JNDU Hyderabad has referred so many uh, few textbooks as well as many references from which what I suggest used to go through JD Cross, okay? Antenna and Wave Propagation by JD Cross, okay? So if you feel it is a little bit... Uh, uh, complex to understand, you can go for local authors like uh, KD Prasad and all those things, okay? So, uh, these are the few textbooks as well as references, okay? So, it seems to look a little bit lengthy, but it's one of the important um, subject in order to have the communication parts in electronics, okay?